Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss all the type C questions of chapter 9 of class 12. Uh, this chapter is about data structures part 1. It's about linear lists. Now the first program is to write a function that is find in list having two parameters one list and second is one item v. Now to check the position of the first occurrence of the item v in the list LST and it will return minus one if not found. Now we are on the program. In the first run, we have entered the number to be searched as 17. And it will uh, give that the first occurrence of the number is at index number 3 as per the list that we have defined in the program. In the second run, I'm searching for a number that is 29. And uh, it is representing the first occurrence of the number is at the index number 14. In the third run, I'm searching for a number 51, which is not present in the list. So it is showing the number is not found in the list. The next program is to implement the function unique, which will accept one list as its uh, parameter and it will find out and return the number of unique elements present in the list. And the past list would be empty also. Now let's uh, do this program. Here we have defined a function unique having a list as its parameter. And inside the function we have created another list with name unique underscore list which is initialized with no value empty list. Now there is a for loop that means for i in LSD that means it will search for each and every element present in the first list which is passed as a parameter in the function. Then in the second loop if i not in unique list if that value is not present in the second list which is created inside the function then the value has to be appended with the list unique list. And it will return the length of the unique list, which is containing all the unique elements present in the main list. Here we have defined four lists. The first list is empty. So when we call the unique function by passing the first list, list one as its parameter, then it should, what it will show, we will see the number of unique elements in list one is L1. And the second list containing three values, one, two, three, and here all the unique values as you can see and uh, we have also called unique function here by passing list 2 as the parameter similarly another list is list 3 containing values 1 2 and 2 where two unique values are present in this list and we are again calling unique function by passing list 3 as its parameter and another list 4 is containing the values 1 2 2 3 3 which is containing three unique values and let's see what output it is giving. And once you run the program, you can see the output like this. The number of unique element in first list is zero as there were no elements in list one. The number of unique elements in list two is three. The number of unique elements in list three is two. And number of unique elements in list four is three. 
The third program is to create a list comprehension with name CB4 and the comprehension should consist of the cubes of the numbers 1 through 10 only if the cube is evenly divisible by 4. Finally print that list to the console. Here we have declared a simple list comprehension. It looks like this. It will store the CB4 is the list which will store i to the power 3 for i in range 1 to 11 if i to the power 3 is divisible by and it will print the list of cube of numbers from 1 to 10 which are divisible by 4 is cv4 let's see the output and once you run the program it will show like this the list of cube of numbers from 1 to 10 which are divisible by 4 are 864 216 512 and 1000 the next program is to take two lists and write a program that returns a list that contains only the elements that are common between the lists without duplicates the two lists are of different sizes and the program should use at least one list comprehension here we have taken two lists a and b these two lists are containing some different elements and they are of different sizes and these two lists also contain some common elements now the list comprehension that we have used here is i for i in A if i in B. That means if i is present in both A and B, then it will collect only those values. But to remove the duplicate values, we have used a set function. So here, I have converted the list into a set so that the duplicate values will be removed. Now again, if you want to convert the set into list, you can use the list function like this. And once you run the program, it will show you the common values which is present in both the list by removing the duplicates. The next program is like this. Suppose we have a list V where each element represents the visit dates for a particular patient in the last month. Calculate the highest number of visits made by any patient by using the function mVisit, which will accept a list as its parameter. And here the list is one sample list is like this v is equal to is containing first is 2 6 3 10 15 23 1 8 15 22 29 and 24 that means it will return the function should return 1 8 15 22 29 that means it should return the longest sub list present in this list Here we have defined a function mVisit which is containing a list as its parameter within which we have defined a variable called L which is storing the length of the first element of the list or the length of the first sub list which is present in the list LST. Now another list uh, uh, variable res which is initialized with a blank list. Now with the help of the for loop it will check all the sublists present in the list. If the length of the sublist is greater than L, then RES will be assigned with the value of the sublist. And it will return that list. So in this way, RES will store the list having the longest uh, size. Now the list is like this v is storing all these values and max visit is a variable which will store the result that is returned by the function m visit which is accepting v as its parameter now you can simply print output and once you run the program you can see the visit dates for the patient having maximum visits are this one so it is showing the sub list having the maximum length now here ends the solutions of uh, chapter 9 all the type c questions they are discussed here for chapter 9 which is about uh, the linear lists and the next video will discuss all the type c questions of chapter 10 that is stats and cues now stay tuned for more solutions and do subscribe to get notified thank you